Hey, Skipper, Ellis here. You better come up and have a look. There's something alongside. Probably one of the latest kind of submarines. All right, be straight up. Well, where is this monster of the deep? Just a photograph fish which shouldn't even be here. You must have more money than sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you do see any, shoot about 200 feet from about six different angles, okay? Okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Loud and clear. Do you see anything? Not yet. Strange. The deeper I go, the warmer the water. The fish are here. Several different tropical kinds. Must be this warm water. See something else. Like a flying fish. It's large. It's silver. Are there any sharks in this area? Yes. Turning towards me. Here, give us a hand. Come on, give us a hand. It's been cut. Large silver flying fish. Now, last week the freighter Kingston was sunk here in the mid Atlantic by missiles like flying fish. Mm. And the species of fish off Cornwall are normally found there. You think there's a link? Well, it's too much of a coincidence for there not to be. Skydiver, Captain, I want you to proceed to the area where the freighter Kingston was sunk. I'm having full instructions prepared for you, and I'll contact you in 30 minutes. second run. We have a radar trace, sir. Bridge. 
We have a radar trace, sir. Uh, bearing 147, speed Mach 5, reducing fast. Mr. Kubo. Sir? Do you see anything? No, sir. Yes. Yes, there. What is it, sir? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. It's coming down. Action stations. Control receiving, come in 87. 25 UFOs, Matthew. Concentrating in area NML 12. We have been seen. Three UFOs approaching. Taking evasive action. ESP 87, come in. Come in. This is Space Intruder Detector, relaying report from Watchdog. UFOs maintaining position in area NML 12. What's the latest on Watchdog? No change. UFOs still in the stationary position and showing no sign of moving, sir. What the blazes are they waiting for? Well, Colonel, what does the computer think? Well, we're still in information. It's reluctant to give an answer. But when I insisted, it said they're either waiting for A, reinforcements, B, bad weather to negate radar, or C, non-operations of defenses, namely shadow control. Well, we know there are no signs of reinforcements, and the weather forecast for the next month is excellent, and shadows certainly won't cease operations. I suggest the next batch of information you feed in, you add a drop of castor oil. Mr. Goober. Sir? Make a signal. Yes, sir. Proceeding on schedule. Target date 12th, 0300. Mr. Goober. Sir? Coded. Depth six hundred. Six twenty. Maximum safe depth. Six forty. Colonel, we are. I heard you the first time, Captain. Continue the dive. Six eighty. Seven fifty. Pressure malfunction. Level. 
Level out. Yes? Turbine's not responding, sir. 820. Engine's overheating. Hold full power. Port plates are buckling. Eight seventy. Turbine's still not responding, sir. Hold power. We'll burn out, sir. Hold full power. Eight eighty. Steady at 900. Maintaining level course, Captain. Take her back to 600. Up to 600. Zona. Colonel. Find anything? No, Colonel. Nothing? How much water below us? 200 fathoms, Colonel. Thanks. We could try again. No. No, it's too deep. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Govell. Over two thirty hours. Anything to report? Yes, sir. Radar reports increased aerial activity. Is this our best bee, Captain? Tracer. Bridge, we've picked up a radar trace bearing 281 Mac 5. Reducing. Action stations. Action stations. Action stations. Seal all watertight bulkheads. Gun crews on immediate standby. Repeat. Gun crews on standby. Missile in position, sir. Launch missile, Mr. Cooper. Clear for firing. Clear for firing. Get that missile launched, Mr. Cooper. Bridge to missile control. Fire, repeat, fire. It's the damage officer, sir. Missile guidance electronics have been affected by the explosion. They're still trying to ascertain the damage. What place has happened? No use, sir. Missile systems are negative. Alert gun crews. Bridge to gun, stand by. Bridge to gun, stand by.
Dirtiest. Puts it out of range, sir. One more shot. Maybe two. That's all. the water temperature. 15 degrees higher than the surface. Still rising. Maybe the volcano's active. No, we'll check that. Get shadow control. Yes, sir. Skydiver for you, Commander. Thank you. Yes, Captain? We're in the search area. Thought you ought to know. Water temperature near base of volcano, 30 degrees higher than normal. I see. Oh, thank you, Captain. I'll call you back in a minute. Have Colonel Foster bring in that report on the underwater cameraman, will you? Yes, sir. Thanks. Another link. Listen to this, Paul. The deeper I go, the warmer the water becomes. Get me skydiver. Take a look at this, Paul. The deep water around that volcano is a lot warmer than it should be. Skydiver. Captain, I want you, by using your temperature gauges, to follow that stream of warm water. Try and find out where it leads to, and if possible, what's causing it. Report back to me every 15 minutes. Very good, sir. You know, I have an idea. They'll finish up just about here. Cornwall. Yes, and the fish follow the warm water. Exactly. Lieutenant Anderson, what's the latest on Watchdog? Lieutenant Anderson is on 24 hours leave, sir. Last report from Watchdog via Sid received three minutes ago. No change. Thank you. Stop engines. 
Temperature rise of three degrees. Captain. Evasive action. Periscope depth. Slowly. All right, sir. Captain, resume your original search. And Captain, watch yourself. Yes, sir. Well, it seems a UFO has been using that volcano as a front door to the Atlantic. And Skydiver also found the reason for the rise in water temperature. What was that? An undersea cable. The UFO was using it as an energy supply. As they can travel underwater on their own power. Yes, for short distances. And you think this one has been to Cornwall? Well, it looks that way. Then there must be an energy plant under the volcano. And if the water temperature is so high, it's generating a lot more power than is needed to drive one UFO. Yes. Well, I wonder what skydiver will find at the end of that cable. <laughs>
some kind of porthole or window. Uh, it's possible. Try scraping away the outer layer. stuff under a microscope. Maybe we can find out what that thing's made of. What did you see, sir? Afraid I can't talk about it at the moment, Captain. You'll find out why later. Yes, sir. Take us up. Surface. I want you to stay by that dome, Captain. Report anything unusual, if necessary, but only as a last resort, blast it out of the water. I'll contact you as soon as I get back to Shadow HQ. Very good, sir. Watchdog. No, nothing, sir. Would you tell Colonel Lake I want Lieutenant Anderson's psychiatric analysis right away? Yes, sir. Still can't believe he's a traitor. No, we can't deny what we saw with our own eyes, can we? Answer to question one. From Anderson's psychiatric report, I can find no reason for disloyalty. Answer to question two, as you insist upon asking questions without giving sufficient information, I can only supply unsatisfactory answers. The most I can say about the last question, is there any link between the undersea dome and the massing of UFOs in area NML12, is, if there is any link, it can only be connected with my previous answers. A, reinforcements, possibly the dome is a construction to house UFOs. B, it contains elaborate equipment to be used to change the weather to negate radar. C, it is there to bring about in some way the non-function of shadow to allow the UFO's uninterrupted entrance to Earth's atmosphere. Hmm. Well, that's a mass of useless information. Yes, I agree. Is there any way, Colonel, of rephrasing the questions? We have asked the questions in 12 different ways, sir. Each time the same answer. There simply isn't enough information. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. Now look, Paul, we're not going to be able to find out anything until we get inside that dome. As soon as the analyst report has been fed in on my knife, let me know. Yes, sir. We'll do our best. I don't know what you're talking about. What were you doing in that dome? I don't know what you're talking about. What were you doing in that dome? What dome? The dome we saw you in. We saw you in that dome. You couldn't have spent the last 24 hours at home. Witnesses. I told you I was by myself. What were you doing in that dome? I don't know anything about what any dome. What were you dome. doing in that dome? Oh, there's no sense wasting any more time, Paul. Doctor. All right. I was never in any dome, whether you saw me or not. I don't know what this is all about, but the answer better be pretty good. How long, Doctor? Another five seconds. I think I'm about ready. Now, what were you doing in that underwater dome? I don't know anything about an underwater dome. Where have you been for the last 24 hours? I've been at home by myself. Did you sleep? Yes, I slept. Did you lock the doors? Yes, I locked all the doors. Why? Well, I've been burglaries in the area. Have you ever been to Cornwall? Never. Look, doctor, is there any chance he's resistant? No, no, no. This drug is infallible. Another shot. One more. Sorry. Tell
tell us about the dome? I don't know about the dome. I don't believe it. There's only one way to find out what's inside that damn dome. The doctor. Yes, you'll be all right. Put Lieutenant Anderson on the lock and key. This is Sid. The UFOs in area NML-12 are still stationary. The estimated number has increased to 50. Watchdog maintaining constant observation. on your knife indicate that the substance from which the undersea construction is made is of a molecular structure unknown to us. But my conclusion is that the entrance could be made by pressure. The rupture would be self-sealing. Thank you, Colonel. I hope the answer is satisfactory, sir. Colonel Lake. Look, I do understand the problems. And the answers are satisfactory. Thank you, sir. Will you please ask Colonel Foster to get his bags packed? Commander. Now let's go down. Yes, sir. Dive. Sorry to have to keep you in the dark about all this, Captain. When I tell you why, I'm sure you'll understand. Lieutenant Anderson is a traitor. He was inside that dome. Anderson? It's not possible. I'm afraid it's the truth. Now, Colonel Foster and I are going to try to get inside that thing. I have no idea what we'll find. But I want you to stay within range. And if we're not back in one hour, destroy it. But come on. No buts, Captain. If we're not back in that time, we won't be coming back anyway. One hour, understand? Yes, sir. been a UFO. Well, in an unknown country, I think it's better to travel light. Fifty-three minutes to go. Well, let's see what wonders await us down here. security less than two hours ago. Yeah, well, maybe they forgot to lock the door. Look, I'm going to try and find out what he's up to. Yeah, I'll do some investigating myself. A good idea. Look, we got 44 minutes. I'll meet you back in the equipment at 20. Right.
See anything, Paul? Dr. Livingston, I presume. What happened to you? You. Look. we'd call it some kind of plastic surgery. But why? Uh, that is the question. Anderson, think what we've done to him. After this, we better stick together, Paul. Come on, let's hide it. been here before? Yeah. Sure looks familiar. But why? Shadow control to Sid. Shadow control to Sid. Come in, Sid. Shadow control to Moonbase. Come in, Moonbase. Moonbase receiving you, Shadow Control. UFOs approaching from NML-12. Do not attempt to intercept. Repeat, do not attempt to intercept. Do not understand. Do not understand. You say do not intercept. Is this correct? 
correct. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs to be dealt with by Earth's defenses. Over and out. Do not understand. You say do not intercept. Is this correct? Correct, Skydiver. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs will be dealt with by ground defences. Over and out. right. I plan to take over shadow control and use it to let those UFOs through. But where did they get our voices from? Well, they've obviously been recording our communications. By using the words they need and putting them together, they can make us say anything they want. And why all this elaborate miming? Well, you forget. Have you seen on the TV screens? Come on, Paul. Let's go. <laughs> Load the tubes. Yes, sir. We'll split up. That way one of us will stand a chance. Okay. Whoever gets back first stops the countdown. No, no, there isn't time. They're ready to make their move. Good luck, Paul. Good luck. minutes. Only another eight minutes. Commander Straker. Yes, sir. The massed UFOs are moving out of area NML 12. Must presume attack course. Any sign of the commander? No, sir. Torpedoes. Torpedoes armed, sir.
Lanza. One away, sir. Fire two. Yes, sir. Fire two. Two away, sir. Message received. Commander, they're on the way. Control to moon base. Attack and destroy second wave of UFOs. Red alert! Red alert! Interceptors immediately! Skydiver. Shadow control to skydiver. Attack and destroy first wave of UFOs. Understood. Possibly we never will. It could have been some form of X-ray photography, but uh, at least they won't try that again. Don't bet on it, Paul. 